What's up, guys? I'm sure the ads popped up for you while you're scrolling through Facebook just like me. I'm talking about the windshield resin you see them using on the commercials to fix phone screens. So today, I'm going to test it out myself. We're going to see how it works. They make it look super simple on the commercials. You just pour a little bead on there and it disappears. I know it's not going to be that easy, but we're going to try it out. I'm going to be looking for two major things. Does it get rid of the crack, number one? And number two, does it add any structural integrity to help the cracks from getting progressively worse? Let's get started. What's up guys, I'm Joe. Today we're gonna to be working on this Moto Z4. It is uh, the latest iteration to Moto mods. Um, it has a cracked screen. The digitizer still works. The LCD still works. We're just gonna see if we can get rid of those cracks on the screen with the windshield resin. Um, I ordered this on Amazon. I'll put a link down to it below. I don't think I'm gonna be recommending it to you, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so with the kit that I bought, you got instructions, you got a, a razor blade, these little plastic, um, I guess they're activator things for the resin. Um, this little suction cup doohickey, um, I don't really know what it's for. I guess, I mean, I know it's for doing it and the resin. I know this is for doing a windshield, but we're not. So basically, all I think we'll need for this is the resin, the plastic activators, and the and the razor knife. Everything else we're gonna toss. I'm not reading any instructions on this. I'm just kind of basically running off of um, what I've seen on the Facebook commercials and also from having people work on my windshields. Now our goal here is to make this phone, you can see the cracks right there, and it's actually missing a chip of glass right there at the corner. Um, but the crack goes all the way up through here and through there and then meets down here at the bottom. You can tell something hit it right here at the bottom and spider webbed all the way up. But we're gonna to try to make this phone look like this phone. There, now you can see the cracks a lot better. I bought one just so we could compare and see what happens between the two um, when I repair the glass with the resin. All right, so in the commercials, they just so whoop, and then you're done. They just pour the resin on there. These, you can't really feel the lines through here. You can about right here and through here. Um, so I'm thinking maybe these, we're not gonna see a lot of difference because it seems like maybe they're just hairline fractures and this is actually a crack. Um, let's see if I can, there, you can see it pretty good right there. So we have to put the resin on here. We have to put the plastic activator on there and then you have to actually have it sitting in the sun. It needs UV light to completely harden. Um, I hear with the UV light, it actually hardens pretty quick. So let's try this out. We'll start down here at the bottom and we're just gonna rub the resin it doesn't really want to stick to the cracks like it shows in the commercials. <laughs> so basically I'm going to run that through there, try to get plenty on. It really doesn't want to stay on. All right. And then I will take one of the activators. All right. You can see that entire, I've actually got it dripping off onto my table. I've got so much resin on there. Three hours later. All right, I've got all the cracks filled, so hopefully this stuff will work. We're gonna go take it out in the sun, set it out in the sun, let it cure, see what happens. As you can tell, I kind of screwed up. I, uh, there's the sun. Oh, there's the sun going down right there. I tried to wait until lighting was a little bit better so that I could do this and I waited until the sun's basically gone. <laughs> so it's not, I don't think it's gonna be driving, drying the resin today. Um, I guess we'll just have to hope this doesn't mess anything up and leave it sitting here overnight and let the sun try to do its work in the morning. Um, but we'll start tomorrow morning and see what happens. All right, so we got the phone right here. Um, it's been a whole day now since I, I mean, you saw yesterday, I tried to put it out in the sun, forgot about the sun. It was super sunny all day Saturday and I waited to make the video because it was too bright outside. But now look, like all day today, rainy, tomorrow, cloudy. I mean, like I literally missed my only window in the next couple of days 
to do this. So it seems like it's hard underneath. Like when I pick it up, when I peel up this plastic, it seems hard. The outside is still sticky. So we're gonna check it out and see what is going on with it. So we'll start, we'll peel off the little plastic applicator things that I think are supposed to help harden it. You can already see, well, can you? Like right there, that's still a crack line. So you can still see all the cracks pretty well. You can see that right there, that's resin. That's the excess resin that didn't need to go on. Screen still works. At least I know if I, if you try this, you know, it's not gonna mess up the functionality of your screen. So you gotta scrape off all the excess resin that's on there. If you're gonna try this, I think I might've gotten a little resin in the earpiece speaker. I don't know if you can see it. All right, the screen looks good. Um, you can still see, it's hard to show. I mean, there you can see right there. You can still see all the cracks, just like what I thought with these, because these are just fractures. It couldn't really get into them. Physically, it did not do its job. It didn't do what the commercials or, or the ads on Facebook say. It didn't really do a good job of filling in that missing piece, which I didn't expect it to. It looks like maybe durability wise, I mean, I'm pushing in. See, there we go, yep. I just pushed in right there. It didn't have any strength to the, the phone's still on. Yeah, there you can see it glitching a little bit. The phone's still on, but yeah, it didn't add any strength to that cracked area. So yeah, now we know. All right, we didn't even have to do any kind of uh, technical testing or anything. I mean, I don't know if you can see it's still, yeah, you see right there, it's still flickering and flashing um, physically or visually, I mean, you can still see all the fractures in the screen. It, uh, didn't hide them at all like it showed in the ads. It also it did smooth them out like the ones that were actually pieces of glass missing It did smooth over those crevices and make them smoother But as you can see it also added zero rigidity to the to the cracked glass because I, I mean You just saw I slightly pushed down over in that cracked area and now the screen doesn't come on anymore And it just flickers. So guess what the next video is going to be. We're going to fix the screen on this phone um, Thank you guys for watching Please like and subscribe down below. Comment what you thought about the process. If you had gotten that ad before on Facebook and you had wondered if it worked or not, now we know it doesn't. And yeah, thanks for got. Th uh, uh, uh. That's right. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. Test, test. One. That's not one. One, two. What's up, blah, blah, blah? Testing the lights again, ha, ha, ha.